it is Manchester United 4, Sheffield United 2. Manchester United chefing up Sheffield, giving up a good chefing, bruv. You get me, you get me. Give them a good chinging, bruv. It was chingtastic today for Manchester United to get that three points against Sheffield United. Oh, we cooked them up, bruv. We served them off on a plate, bruv. We said, come to our house. Let's chef it up for you, Sheffield United. I know you tried to get rude and tried to cook at some times. I was like, no, wait a minute. You ain't cooking, no. We're the chef. We're going to provide. We're the host. You get here, we're going to chef you up. And that's what we did, man. Man, shoot out grab those three points. Just the second up because it wasn't. They didn't start off all rosy. Oh no, Man United did what they do all the time, putting our hands in our hearts and everything, like thinking, "What the hell is going on, Man United? How can you do this to us? How can you do it to me? You know." But Man United managed to turn things around, and and it was a game where we've heard um, rumors of Wilcott saying that he instruct him Eric Turner to play possession based football that's the style of new the new way Manchester United wants to go for it and we did see possession yes we did well, I'm not sure about how, um, how good it was first of all it was of course it was Sheffield United so you expect Manchester United to dominate dominate possession as, as expected but again look at the scoreline look at the way we, we got opened up at times not good enough manchester united had the first 45 minutes um what i have to say bruh <sighs> you look at the first 45 minutes i think i must have to say i was disappointed in the first 45 minutes manchester united with all the possession in the world but unable to convert those opportunities into a goal the goal came from the first sorry the first goal came from sheffield united Bogey, after all this time, all the stuff that we were doing, you know, all the nonsense, Bogo got that goal straight away oh, from Onana. You know what, Onana? You make me sick sometimes. Onana, you floppy fish. Oh, nah, nah, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Like Drake said, oh, like, what are you doing, Onana? What are you doing? Giving the ball away. And you know, Onana has those tendencies. This is Onana tendencies-esque. This is what Onana does best. He will give the ball away by making a mistake by trying to pass out from the back. And he did it. He gave it to Bogle. Bogle got the ball, finished it off really well, making it 1-0 to Sheffield United, where we was fuming. It was like, oh, hell nah. But then, Harry Maguire, the fridge himself, with that big fat slab head, a goal from his head, which was wet into VR. And I was like, VR, don't, don't do this to us. Which kind of looked offside to me. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to complain. I will take it. You will take it. The referee wants to give it to us. Thank you very much. We'll take that. Merci beaucoup. Yes. Maguire equalising it. Making it 1-1. We're matching that. We're at half time. 1-1 into the game. And we're thinking. Yo. United. Don't mess this up. Like. I don't want to go to work. And taking the piss out of Susan. Angry when when Susan says good morning, I'm like, what? Can, what, what do you mean good morning? There's nothing good about this morning, Susan. Get out of my face, Susan. Oh, what's wrong with him? I oh, don't worry, love. He just watched me. He's a Manchester United fan. Oh, I understand. You don't want to be doing that. We don't want to be doing that. The second off, it was going to be like that because you know why? Manchester United went to concede a goal. Yes, Ben Berbatan Diaz with that goal, two one. For Manchester United. Manchester United made himself so open and and do you know why I it's that substitution the Ericsson substitution it just keeps us and leaves us four open and then Bruno scored from a penalty which the ball went in already I don't know why the referee that referee's a dickhead I don't know why the referee didn't want to give us the goal so what if Bruno didn't miss the penalty and the ball that went in, what, what would you say? Well, VAR overturned that situation and said, you know what, the ball went in. But, you know, I just don't understand. It could have cost us. If if Bruno missed the penalty, it could have cost us. The game would have been so different, guys. Bruno equalising, screwing the penalty, which was very easy. And then Bruno, again, come of the hour, come of the man with a strike. A bazooka strike, an assist from Kobe Mainu himself. Kobe was like, you know what, here, my captain. My captain, my captain is the ball. Bruno says, thank you very much, young buck. Strikes it in the back of the net. Oh, bazooka. It was beautiful. Bruno, as usual, selfishly celebrating. Mm. Go, vamos. You know what I mean. Bruno surpassing Kevin De Bruyne, being involved in more goals than Kevin De Bruyne and Odegaard as well. But the eye test will tell you that. Wait a minute, he ain't better than them. 
But the stats will tell you something completely different that he's world class. But yeah, Bruno, 3 2 up. Manchester United were in heaven now, thinking, okay, okay, okay. Purgatory mode, purgatory mode, and then Manchester United make it 4 2. Rash Mish Hurling, who don't score too often. Actually, he hasn't scored in a while, Rash Mish Hurling. An assist by Ahmed Yad to pass it in. And then Rasmus to get his big fat feet into it and get stuck in and tap it in because he's been he's been thirsty, go thirsty as well since he's returned back from injury. 4-2 Manchester United Rasmus sent us, making us all ecstatic, all erupted, all feeling fine after one hell of a turnaround of the game. Manchester United winning 4-2 full time. What a game for the neutrals. What a game for us as well. A lot of emotions. Twists and turns. <sighs> what? This Man United don't want to give us soft life. They just want to make it hard for us. This is what happens. When you're called the Red Devils, you're going to suffer. God does not favour us, Man United Holics. God don't favour us. Seriously. We're going to go for it. But yes. Man the match today, I mean, sorry, player-wise, let's talk about the players because Bruno Fernandes, whether, he got the two goals, but he wasn't that, con, say, he didn't dictate, he wasn't the playmaker, he, he did what Bruno does, most of the times making mistakes, giving the ball away, but getting the crucial goals, we got to Harry Maguire for the goal, for the comeback as well, but I still want you out, and Ericsson, showed control the moment he came off and McTominay came on we lost the control in the midfield Dalo was good with his assist as well Anthony yo you need to be put in the bin Anthony needs to put in and Andre or Nana he was doing so well why why would you make this and Casemiro oh (laughs) some good balls over the top but boy I don't know what to say guys man the match to me has to go to Bruno Fernandes for his two goals it was influential he did really well as well. I can't fault him, you know. Big up to him. Big up to him. But still, I still feel like he's off-road. But guys, this has been your match reaction from your boy, Ivory Spice. Let me know who your man of the match is in the comments. Your donkey of the match as well. My donkey of the match, I can't give it to anyone right now. But we'll talk tomorrow. But yes, guys, let me know in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Reggie Knight TV. Smash the like button. Share across all social media platforms. Press the notification bell. Become a member of Reggie Knight TV by clicking on the membership button and selecting which perk suits you most and of course as always guys great win good night remember to keep it united remember to keep it ready night we're back tomorrow peace out i am out